Hi guys, Mr. Pollock Biology here once again with the Paper 1 Set 2 Super Secret um, Teacher Edition Specimen Materials for the new AQA A-Level um, that is actually, this exam is going to be tomorrow, so I'm sorry this has been a little bit late, but I'm sure you guys will appreciate it nonetheless. This is a immunity question, and we're going to dive straight in. So, first one, nice and straightforward definition. What is an antigen? Well, it's a foreign protein, so foreign to the body, foreign protein um, and crucially it stimulates an that stimulates an immune response let's get rid of that uh, that stimulates an immune response so it starts your immune system doing something stimulates an immune response uh, you could also say stimulates the production of an antibody um, but immune response is probably the easiest way to do this and then the second question is nice and straightforward as well. What is an antibody? Uh, well, for this, we can just say, again, it's a protein. It's a protein, sorry, emails. Uh, it's a protein that is specific to an antigen, which is kind of implied by the first question, really. Uh, specific to an antigen. And then we need to say what it's produced by. Uh, so it's produced by um, B cells. You could also say secreted by plasma cells, but I prefer produced by B cells. Produced by, and that is two marks. Nice, straightforward four marks there. Stock definitions, get them learned. So we've got some information about poliomyelitis or polio, and we say it's an infection caused by a virus, and a doctor has vaccinated a group of patients against the disease, and he's given them two doses of a vaccine each three months apart. And an immunologist is going to test three samples of blood, and he's going to be looking for concentration of antibodies. So he's taken one sample two weeks before the first dose, and then another one two weeks after the first dose, and then another one two weeks after the second dose. And we've got some data for this. So here's our data, and we're measuring the mean concentration of antibodies in the blood. So it's asking to calculate the percentage increase in the mean concentration of antibodies between samples two and three. So all we're going to do is going to read off the graph. I'm going to read it off to this point here, which is two, and we're going to read it off here, which is 37. Simple little percentage increase calculation. So you want to do uh, 37 minus 2, which gets you your difference, divided by the original amount, and you're going to multiply it up by 100. And that should come out as uh, 1,000, I believe, 750% uh, increase. Don't get scared by the fact that it's a, a percentage greater than 100. Um, if it's more than doubled in size, it will be greater than 100. So this has gone through a, a huge, huge, huge increase. So what we have to do next is we have to explain the difference between the concentration of the antibodies in samples 1, 2, and 3. So sample 1, there were no antibodies. And the reason for that is because... Um, there's been no antibodies released because the immune system hasn't been stimulated, because the antigen hasn't been encountered. So in sample one, we've got no antibodies. Oh, no antibodies, bodies, like that. So because it's before the vaccination, so pre-vaccination. And then we should explain why uh, because we haven't encountered the uh, the antigens. So no antigens encountered. So our immune response hasn't been stimulated. Okay, uh, sample two is after our initial dose of the vaccine. Um, and so this has basically been because of the activation of B cells um, and... There's sort of, it's the, the, the clonal selection or expansion of B cells and then there's been uh, becoming the plasma cells or producing the plasma cells, however you want to phrase it. So for part two, for sample two, uh, we have uh, after, after vaccination one, there has been the activation of B cells. of B cells. So we're going to get our plasma cells. And crucially, we've got to link what is the point of these plasma cells? Well, these guys, these are going to produce our antibodies. 
So that's our second and third mark. And then the fourth one is saying, well, why is this massive peak just here? Um, so what we've got after the uh, after the secondary dose, it's our memory cells kicking in. Okay, so after second dose, so sample three, which is after our booster, memory cells produce lots of antibodies quickly or produce more. It's really crucial that you get more in there. So produce more antibodies uh, more quickly. And that's it, I believe. So that's an immunity question. Not too bad, all things considered. Um, but please let me know what you think in the comments. Like, comment and subscribe. And stay tuned for the next one in the next few minutes. Take care. Good luck for tomorrow.